Uh, hey, so I got a question uh, here. Uh, I got a question on our YouTube channel. And I was just trying to think of a good way to answer uh, because it was more than I could really type in a reasonable way. So I decided to try this out uh, for answering comments and questions. This is a Loom video and it'll be hosted and that way I can just post a link and I think it'll work. So the question was from a fitness instructor who want, who watched the uh, Loopback Spotify um, YouTube video that I did on the Digitized Live channel. And they want to know how to hear their students, hear the music, not hear themselves coming back through the, the Loopback channels, and also have the students hear the music clearly and hear them clearly. So there were kind of five different asks in that. And so... So I sat down and I made a configuration that works, and it, it's really a, a very simple one. Uh, and I've done a bit here to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to walk you through the setup. So first I'll walk you through all the different pieces of software so you know what you're seeing here on the screen. And then I'll walk you through how to build the actual loopback audio driver that I believe uh, answers all of these needs for you. Uh, using the least possible equipment I could come up with or you're most likely to have. So. Here on the left, this is the Zoom preferences, and you can see I have it set to um, the speaker being my AirPods here, and the microphone being something called Fitness Instructor 01. That is this loopback device here. The window here, this is a Zoom um, meeting that's open. There's no one in it but me, as you can see, and I have it muted, and I have the video off, and we'll leave that that way probably for the duration. Down here, we have Spotify, uh, and I just have a relaxing, relaxing piano playlist. Uh, not exactly the best uh, Zumba fitness or fitness class music, probably, unless you're doing a warm down, maybe. But um, in this case, uh, it'll su suit our needs just fine uh, without ending up with uh, things that maybe I shouldn't broadcast. Uh, so here you go. And then on the right, you have uh, Loopback, which is the software uh, that I use to create these types of setups uh, to give you a lot more flexibility for audio routing. So we're going to recreate this setup. This setup works. Uh, I tested it here at home, uh, and it works just fine. So I'm going to recreate this for you so you see how to make it happen. Okay. So first thing, new virtual device, and we're going to call this one Fitness Instructor Test. I like to use dashes instead of spaces. That's just stylistic. Do that if you like. Uh, it's totally up to you. And then we do not need um, this device here. This thing is called a pass-through device. Uh, and uh, we, we don't need it. So I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now we have a clean palette uh, with which to build on. So the first things first, uh, I've found when building loopback audio devices that I want to make sure my audio cables uh, route nicely and they don't all cross all over the place. So I make, personally, I choose to do my microphones first. And in this case, uh, we're going to be using my AirPod Pro, which I'm doing right now using the AirPod Pro as the microphone for the audio driver. So that's first, and you can see the monitor moving as I talk. That makes sense, and it is on. The next thing we want to do is we want to add, uh, I like to add next, the music source. So in, in our case here, it's going to be Spotify, and there it is, and we'll test that it's working by playing some music. And it looks great, uh, and you can prove that because the monitor is moving. So we'll stop that for now. And then the third thing we want to add is Zoom. Why? Because we want, if someone on the Zoom call talks to us, they scream out for help when they <laughs> fall down or you're making them stretch too much or they're tired, whatever it might be, uh, we need to add Zoom. So it's a running application. I got it running before I started this video uh, and added here. And we can test that that's making noise and that simulate a person talking by pushing this uh, test speaker button. So there it goes. Okay. And then the last thing you'll need to do is pick your appropriate loopback audio device, uh, which would be called Fitness Instructor Test. Uh, it's not showing up there because I need to stop and reopen uh, the Zoom preferences because of the order in which I did things. So you would go here and choose Fitness Instructor Test, and that's great. So uh, we've basically built almost everything we need, but we need to make a few changes. In order to hear what's going on from Zoom, we're going to be able to need to listen to that in the monitor. And that's just like the speakers that are in your room. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to use, again, uh, the AirPod Pros for that. And we need, when we first create it, it's, it's attached to these channels. We don't want that. So we're going to 
delete this. Doing this is creating something called a mix minus. So by highlighting those and deleting them, we've set up mix minus. And we're also going to need channels three and four. What for? We don't actually want all three of these going into the same, because then when I delete the mix minus, I can't hear the music anymore, or I can't hear the Zoom attendees. So I'm actually going to delete all of these audio cables, and we're going to reroute them through these additional channels. This is kind of a secret sauce, uh, if you ask me. Uh, the two big things are having two pairs of channels and doing the deleting the, the uh, audio cables between channels one and two and the monitor. And we will bring back the audio cables here from the channel three, four, which now includes Spotify and Zoom into the monitor. That means when someone talks here, and again, we'll simulate that, I hear it here. This is good. I'm emulating the fitness instructor here. Funny. So, and then when I play music, which I will do now, I hear it here. And most importantly, you'll notice over here, because we've chosen fitness instructor test, they hear it. Now that music may be too loud. So we're gonna turn it, I usually, start with 50 uh, 50 percent and I've got my microphone here at 100 so at this point generally the folks listening in on the zoom call and participating in your class they're gonna hear your voice pretty loud and pretty clear and they're gonna hear the music loud enough and very clear and this is really the whole point to this is to have a very very easy nice simple setup with the minimum things and no weird delays between the music and the speech and the for you or for the um, for the uh, students in your class, and that's it. At that point, you're completely uh, you're completely online with this uh, audio driver, and you should be able uh, to run your class really beautifully uh, with happy students who can hear you, you can hear them, you can all hear the music at an appropriate level, and uh, not have any weird delays. So that's how you do it. Uh, that is a Four channel mix minus uh, loop back controlled uh, fitness class audio studio on a MacBook on a Mac. So I hope that helps and uh, it definitely answers the question. Uh, let me know if it works out for you. I'm always curious to hear. And if this does work out nice for you, then what I should probably do is uh, another full YouTube video instead of just this. Uh, Actually, maybe I'll just upload this to, to YouTube as it is because I just don't uh, really want to make it again. So <laughs> that'll work for now. And uh, have a great uh, have a great.